Hey guys, welcome back to another craft-tastic video. So today is going to be another craft video. So today I'm going to be showing you three different DIY things to do to make your room smell very good. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe. As always, I will always link my best friend's video in the, I mean my best friend's channel in the link in the description as well as my both of my brother's channels so go check those out and yeah i hope you enjoy rolling the intro actually let's go up this time Okay, so for this craft, you'll be needing these, um, dish not dishwashers, like laundry, pebble things you put in the washing machine, and they look like this. It's a real struggle to open it up, but yeah, and they look like little chocolate chips or something, but they're not. They're like pebbles, you know, you know, blah, blah, blah. You'll be needing some of that, and then you'll also be needing an empty, um, spray container. I'm just using an empty Windex container but you could basically use any like other spray stuff just empty it out wash it and blah 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 so and you're also gonna be needing water but yeah so what you're gonna basically do is put in some of these pebbles in the container now this is pretty hard since the container hole was kind of small but you can also use a funnel that's what I used so just put the funnel in the bottle and then you take the little pebbles and pour it a small amount, about that much, and then let that go in. And then you could check how much, and then that's how much you should need. You don't really need that much, just like a bit of it. And then the next thing you're going to do is fill this up with water. So I'm just going to go ahead and go fill that up with water. There we go. Okay, so that is filled up with water. Now what you're going to do is you're going to cap it up, you're going to twist it, and you're going to, of course, like, shut it, and then you're going to make sure it's real shut, because then you're going to start shaking it all up, and then you're going to let this sit out for a few minutes to let the pebbles in there dissolve all the way, and then you can start using it. So yeah, that's the little good spray. So just make sure these pebbles are dissolved all the way it takes like a few minutes but yeah that's basically it and then you can spray it anywhere you can spray it on your bed it will leave like a wet residue but it dries up really really quick and just spray it anywhere you can spray it around the room to make your room smell good you can spray it on your carpets and make your carpet smell good it's pretty it's a pretty good good spray and it will just make your whole room Okay, so for this craft, you're going to be needing these dishwasher sheets, no, dryer sheets, or whatever they're called, and some rubber bands, and these pebbles again. And so you're going to basically want to do is get a dryer sheet, and then you're going to take these little pebbles, um, and then you're going to put them in the center of the dryer sheet, I think that's what it's called, I don't know, but whatever and then you're just gonna go ahead and twist it and like put them together at the very bottom and then tie it together to make like a little pouch and yeah that's basically it and then you could just make as much as you want I think I made um four I'm pretty sure yeah I made four um but I did one a while back um I did some a while back so like total I probably made like 10 11 but here they are. This is how it looks like. So you could basically put these anywhere. I put them in my lamp, as you can see. And I put two in that one. But 
You could basically scatter it out over your room. I put them in my lamp. You could put them in your little flower pot behind your book, behind your pillow, in your bed, inside your pillow. Yeah, I like that. Okay, I'm just kidding, guys. Don't put it in your bed. But, like, behind a uh, little picture frame or basically anywhere, as you can see, behind a book, in your flower pot, anywhere would look good. Okay guys, so for this craft, excuse that candle, I didn't think it was in the frame. You're going to be needing some wax. So you can either buy the regular wax and color them with every color, but I just bought the wax that was already colored in little cubes. And I already made a candle, um, so these were like leftovers from that. You're also going to be needing um, two little jars, so um, and make sure they're like um heat proof and then you also need a candle now this candle i actually made like back back in the day and i decided to show you guys how to make it and it came out for some reason but it's fine it still works anyway so yeah and then you're also going to be needing a jar to put the candle in i got this little little wine glass i guess i don't know and the wick of course the wick of the candle to you know for it to be a candle so yeah First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna melt the wax. So you're gonna take this little torch and guys, do not play with fire. Um, anyways, then you're gonna take your wax thing. Um, then you're gonna take the little cubicles um, and you're gonna add three in the little jar. So just take whichever color you would like and then take three um, cubes um, if they're not cubes, then just fill it up about, I don't know, like halfway of the jar. Not too much. Just fill up halfway of the jar uh, with wax. And then go ahead and add the food coloring in to color the wax if you bought the normal one. But if it's already colored, then you could just skip that part. And then you're going to hold that thing. You can, like, find something to hold it above. I couldn't, so I'm just going to hold it with my own hands and... Boy, that was so hard to keep it. So after you have melted the wax, you're going to take your little jar that you're going to want to make the candle in. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take the an object and you're going to put it underneath to make it like a little tilt to make the design. Um, you're going to basically just keep it like that, not too much so it won't fall off. And then you're going to go ahead and take the wax color that you want to do first and then you're going to pour it in like... Just a little bit, not a lot. And then you're just going to basically move. Not move. You're basically just going to let that candle sit for a while. And turn into, you know, hard wax instead of melted wax. So, yeah. So, I'm just going to go ahead and just grab that and set that aside um, with the thing object. So, it won't, like, go flat. And then you're going to take the other jar and you're going to take the other colored wax i only did two colors but you could do multiple colors as you want and then you're going to go ahead and again fill that up halfway with the the jar and then these cubes are actually way bigger than the other one so this is going to be a probably take a while to melt um but i'm not going to record the whole thing just kind of halfway so yeah so you're going to go ahead and go ahead and take the candle again and then you're going to place it all over it and you're going to let that melt.
Okay, so after you have melted the other wax, you're going to go ahead and pour it in, but you're going to put the thing underneath again from the other side of the jar, not the scissors. So just go ahead and place that in the other side. And then you're going to go ahead and take your candle uh, again when wax and melt it, and then you're going to pour it in about halfway again. And then you're going to go ahead and let that cool off till it turns hard, just like boom that oh but there we go okay so when it has hardened you're gonna flip it to the other side now and then you're gonna put the other different color um candle you're gonna put in just a little bit not a whole bunch and then you're gonna let that cool off again so just let that cool off and then after it has cooled off, you're going to go ahead and flip it from the other side again. And then you're going to go ahead and take your other different colored wax thing. And then you're going to go ahead and pour that in. So just pour it in halfway again. And then you're going to go ahead and let that cool off. Just, just cool off. And once it turns hard... You're going to go ahead and take it from the other side. And excuse my dog. And then you, he's going to, I mean, then you're going to pour the rest of the other wax in. And basically, you're going to keep doing and changing patterns and colors. And then you're going to go ahead and just take off that. And you're going to keep it flat. And then you're going to take the last bit of the wax and fill it up with that, the, all of the wax. And you're going to go ahead and take your candle wick and put it right in the middle. Just like that. And then you're going to go ahead and let that harden and your candle should be done. And you could place the candles anywhere. Now these are the ones that I did a while the back. And my mom placed them in the TV stand. But this is the one that I did today. And then I just placed it right here beside both of these candles that I bought. I didn't make those. And yeah, I think it looks really pretty right there beside them. Okay, so how do you think of the video? It was pretty nice, huh? So I hope you enjoy all these nice DIY things to make your smell bed just make your bedroom smell good. I hope you enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe to all the channels in the link. Don't forget to subscribe in the description all the don't forget to subscribe to my channel yeah guys i hope you enjoy press that little notification bell and roll in the outro